Hey, so I am on the floor in my office right now, and I figure I have about 200 plants, and I just love them so much, and I don't spend enough time sharing stuff with my plants, um, especially with everybody, you know, being on lockdown and more people working from home. People have taken to getting house plants and just filling their home with plants. Um, with that also comes a learning curve and getting used to your plants and not always knowing what to do and going to the internet and finding a million different answers, answers, um, to what you should do. So I want to talk about my babies right here. Uh, my fiddle leaf figs. Uh, now this gal is still, um, in her very early growing phases. But I want to talk about some things that you can come across with their leaves. One thing in particular, um, you will read often about uh, spider mites, um, thrip, different things that you can uh, find on the leaves or illnesses, root rot causing browning spots, or too much sun causing browning spots. Uh, but something you don't always find a lot on is what I have hiding right here under this leaf. Um, if you look at the back, you'll see kind of this like red spotting, reddish brown spotting that carries through the front of the leaf also. Um, i got some over on this gal too. And what that is, is it something that uh, we get as humans too. You'll know the word from that. Um, it's edema. And that is like for, um, for peat. For people, um, when you get water retention and that skin swelling, um, where your wa yeah, body just won't purge that water, that is the exact same thing with these plants. What happens is that the roots soak up more water um, than the leaves can handle as it pushes out its growth. And ultimately what happens is certain um, cells within the leaves rupture because of too much water which causes that red spotting. Now, if the water levels in the soil get balanced and they maintain that balance, the leaves can continue to grow out. And as they grow out, they will get rid um, of some of that visible spotting. However, um, there is the chance that unless, if all of your factors for its growth space are not right, you can end up with leaves that look like this guy right here. Um, I got this plant as this leaf was coming in. Now the problem with this scale, as you can see, look at this leaf. Oh, she's huge. Her growth has just gotten amazing. And what that came down to is also knowing that in our minds, we can have our places that we want our plants to be. You have the perfect spot in your house you want it to be. But guess what? It might not be the perfect spot for them. So this can mean moving things around. Uh, she was in my kitchen where I have just amazing light coming through and then even transitioned into my art studio slash, uh, greenhouse where just it's filled with windows and great light, but she was not happy in there. Um, as soon as I moved her into, uh, my office here where I've got a uh, great, uh, Southern light coming in throughout the day, all of a sudden this gal showed up. So. Let me rewind back to that edema. You see this sickly little leaf here, and I have a couple more around her backside. Um, um, it's easy to want to go in there and just cut that off, prune it off. Don't do it. Sometimes you do want to prune back leaves. Um, that's if maybe there's been an infestation and you are trying to keep the rest of the plant from getting sick, but that's not the case with edema. So your fiddle leaf responds, responds to stress very strongly and cutting off those leaves can actually stress the plant and stop it from continuing to get good growth. What you want to do is just let them be, let the scale continue to grow. And then once she is into that tree height that you want and you want to maybe start uh, training it to pruning it back so it will branch out um, or you just want to prune back those bottom leaves, that's when you're going to go ahead and clip those back. But right now, just let these big leaves continue to come in and grow and don't worry about that edema so much. So I hope that helped you out if you've been wondering what those red spots are on your fiddle leaf.